We here with it. We here with it. We're still y'all. Popping. Here with this. This pop eyes. The pop eyes. You know what I'm saying? That pop eyes does not pop your eyes. Pop eyes. Eyes popping. Sandwich. Y'all see what it is? Sandwich. I got that four piece because I'm a big boy. Real. Eat. We eat. We eat. eat. We eat. eat. We eat. eat. Got the sweet tea because it's a hot day. I got my big boy rag because it's a hot day. Big facts. We need sponsor the water. Water. Electrolytes. I think it's um. Uh, I think it's, it's about that. It's about that time, right? About that time. It's about that time. It's Turk time. Marvelous day. Man. This ain't Steel's Kitchen, but it's Steel's Kitchen's own. Facts. Facts. Don't forget. S T E E L underscore kitchen. So we here. So we here. We got a, we got a few things to chat about. Just a few. I seen a couple subjects on social media. And we could weigh in on it right now. The first subject is if you have a girl, mm -hmm. must she get along with your parents? Mm. Must your girl get along with your parents for your relationship to work? I think it depends. If you're a family person and you and your family are real close and you're around your family a lot, that's something that you should just establish. She should establish that relationship with your family for your relationship to work. Because you're gonna be with your family a lot, you're gonna be with your girl a lot, you want them to, to be together. You want them to make sure they're not bumping heads. So, you know, you don't want them to have that relationship going. So it's a good thing to have. That's fair, that's fair. I also think it depends um, Your parents lived their life already, right? They got who they wanted to be with, and that was like your dad, my dad. Mm -hmm. Nobody could tell them nothing. They lived their own life. You don't want to upset your parents, but I mean, they ain't gonna tell me what to do either, so. That's true. Um, my thing is, it, it depends, because you would like your parents to get along with your girl. You'd like your girl to get along with your parents, but sometimes parents be tripping. <laughs> Moms don't like to see their boys move on, so sometimes it could come off as jealous. Mama. And they'd be like, I don't like her. For no reason. Sisters. I had a girl before, and my whole family didn't like her because she didn't make my plate at my cookout. It'd be like that. Little things like that is the reason why you don't like her, so. That's I mean, real old school. It is. It is, so. If my people don't like her because of that, I'm not tripping. I'm gonna still see her. And so you guys give me a legit reason. If it's just because she didn't make my plate, nah. I mean, I don't feel like they have to get along even though I would rather get a, them get along because it's gonna be easier that way, but it's not a requirement because I, I swear some parents be tripping. That's not true. just mine, but stories I heard, like, God damn. Get it you together. Can't be serious. Get it together, people. Gotta make everything work. Yeah. Everything has to. Oh. If that's like somebody that. I'm gonna see, you're gonna have to get along with it. Gotta respect it. Just I... like parents still date to this day. Yeah. I don't approve of everybody my parents see. I know I don't. But I gotta deal with it. Got to. Because those are my parents. They live in their life. That's their decision. Mm-hmm. Too short. Too short. 
should people have the right to gay marriage? Mm -hmm. Now I know this topic is gonna be real. It's going it's going to turn some heads for people. But I'm gonna tell you this, my opinion, yes, they should. Because at the end of the day, they're all human. They're not a specific kind of person. They're not. They're not excluded out of anything. They're still people. Just because that they want to see or deal with their same sex, that's their business. It goes back to the same topic as parents dating whoever they want, or their or their kids dating whoever they want. People can date whoever they want. If they want to date the same sex, let them date the same sex. That's what they want to do. Hmm, that's my opinion on it. It's true. In my opinion is it's too different. If you want to see who you want to see, that's what it is. We all are human. Um, attraction is natural. So if you're attracted to men and you're a man, that's on you. And if you're attracted to women and you're a woman, then that's fine too. Everybody's human. Love don't have a gender. If you're in love with a man, you're in love with a woman, then so be it. Get married, enjoy your life. Love Later. don't have any boundaries. Mm -hmm. At all. It don't got nothing to do with me. And it's not harming me, so I'm just like, hey, do what you do. You in love, do it. Everybody's human, everybody has rights. And you want to exercise your right to get married to the person you're in love with, then do it. Do it. It's all out of love. Step in the name of. Prina. Or no Prina. That, that's, that's, a, that's a tough one. I feel like. It all depends on, alright, so coming from a male perspective, it depends on what kind of female you're rocking with. Because there'd be some chicks who, who show you that, that they down for you or whatever, da 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 But the moment you get some money, they switching up. Just like that. So they'll try to use you for your money. So it's like, yo, listen, 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 sis. That's what y'all be saying. Listen, sis. If we gonna be together, you gotta be, you gotta be with me for me. You better sign this paper. Sign it. Cause you're not gonna use me for my money. You're not gonna use me for my success. Everything that I grinded hard for. But on the other side, you could also have that actual down female who's been with you from rock bottom all the way to the top. Then, you like, know listen. You know, I trust you, we, 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 we pretty much built this together. Bottom up. Don't sign it. Cause you worked as hard just as much as I did. So it's like, you had your half, I have my half. If we splitting up, forget it. That's what we gonna do. But my opinion, just off of experiences from females I dealt with, they gotta sign that paper. <laughs> you gotta sign it. John Hancock. It. For me, for me is like uh, we just gonna sign the paper. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna sign the paper because I watched too many people get screwed over, and I'm not saying that will be me and who I decide to marry, but. Nah, I, I honestly don't want to take any chances. Um, and, and it's not just to protect me, but to protect her as well. Like, if she's the money maker, she would want to, like, protect what she worked for as well. Um, yeah, and, and it shouldn't be a problem because, like, you're getting married because you're in love. This is who you want to be with till death be part. So the money shouldn't, shouldn't matter, even if, like, Unfortunately, even if you did like help me get to a position, I would never leave somebody hanging. But when you're getting married, I feel like money shouldn't be 
something that you have to debate about. It's just like, yo, we here, we in love with no money or money. Broke people get married, so yeah, uh, we gonna we gonna sign this paper. And uh, if it ever comes down to it, I'm, I'm not gonna leave my ex-wife or the mother of my kids hanging. So yeah. Should birth control be sold over the counter? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I personally think yes, it should. Reason being, it's for the it's for the good of all of us. Not saying for y'all try to attack me. Not saying that. Pregnancy isn't a beautiful thing, because it is. I got a two-year-old daughter. But sometimes, people aren't in a predicament where they're ready to have kids. So if you and your significant other plan on having that sexual intercourse, or that experience, whatever you want to call it, you shouldn't have to go through so many steps of going to be a doctor, scheduling appointments, waiting for the order to get filled and be sent to the pharmacy. You can just go to uh, CVS, Walgreens, or whatever, and just get it. And everything could be doctor approved if it's sold inside stores. So therefore, I feel like it should be sold over the counter, so it could be an easier, easier transaction instead of the government trying to get the money from our insurance. It's my opinion on that. Um, I feel like. If it makes it easier, then then go for it. But uh, I really don't have an opinion because I never had to deal with it personally. I feel like they want you to go into the doctor so they could track who's doing what. This is how they keep numbers. Um, yeah, th th this is how they keep numbers, and they want to keep track of who's doing what. So, and I, I kind of think it's necessary to see a doctor because some people just will just pop whatever and like I, I guess when you go they're trying to see if your body is good for it they need to tell you all the symptoms that you're probably not gonna read because let's be real who reads the, the, the small print they put on these little bottles of whatever so it's important you know the side effects um, and if your body is reacting a certain way you're not going to the ER panicking when these are just symptoms to the birth control. So, I mean, yes and no. You want it to be easier, but you want to be educated as well, so. Didn't see that point. Chip, chip. Is homework beneficial? Is homework beneficial? No. It's not. As long as you paid attention to what you're supposed to be paying attention to in class and what the teacher is saying, that's the knowledge you need. Because sometimes they'll send you with homework that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> and that's from experience. <laughs> sometimes teachers would just assign things just so they can assign it. And say they gave you homework so you can get some kind of credit for something. But then also times that they will assign homework that has to do with whatever was being talked about in class. But I feel like it's just a waste of time. Because not a lot of people don't do their homework. And guess what? They still passed. I don't know how. Actually, I do know how because they paid attention to what they were supposed to in class so that way they did what they had to do on the tests and classworks. When sometimes some schools, homework is not even that big of a percentage towards your grade. If you know what you need to know for those tests, which is the major part of your grade, and you listen to your teachers, that's all you need. Homework is just like a little pop quiz. That's all it really is. It is. Um mine again it could be on both sides um, sometimes I do think homework is unnecessary uh, 
But then again, like you said, uh, if you're paying attention in class, it shouldn't really matter um, about the homework. But I mean, for them to know that you got what you learned in class, they have to give homework to make sure you get it because they can't really move forward with you. If you take homework home and you got it all wrong and it's just like, damn, well, I thought you was paying attention in class. And classwork is easy to pass because everybody's doing it together half the time. So it's just like, when you do classwork together, that's one thing. When you go home, like, let me see if you get it. It's like, but then again, like you said, sometimes the homework don't got nothing to do with what you learn, so. It could go both ways. It really can. Y'all leave some comments for these questions too. Facts. Drop, drop what y'all think. Put some comments down below. We gonna do more of these, and we need y'all feedback to do more of these. Whether it's like I like it, I dislike it. Um, I wish you covered this type of subject. Um, yeah, it's just a cool little mukbang, man. Popeyes is is winning right now. You know. But for the most part, that's what we got for you today. We got to save our subjects for another time, another meal. Facts. What you guys think? Leave comments. What should we eat next? Facts. What should we eat? That DC trip coming real soon. The food we going to have there is going to be crazy. The group we going with is going to be crazy. I'm already going to yeah. shout out the chefs Yo. that we about to go see. Just Ooh. shout out to the chefs that we about to go see. Facts. I ain't gonna put your th stuff up like that. Yeah. But shout out to you know who you are. We're gonna see you real soon. We, we, we gotta put them links in the description after we eat it, you know. We can review that. And we hitting woo walks. We hitting woo walks. We hitting woo walks. We about to go march. Big facts. March on Washington. If you're gonna be there, link with us. We there. For our people, man. For our people. That's it for today. Make sure you follow us on social media. Links in the description. Yes, sir. Leave a comment. DM us what you want to see next. Don't forget Steel's Kitchen. Steel's Kitchen. Kitchen is still under some construction. My oven's broken. But we will be here. How you spell that? Steel's Kitchen? Steel's Kitchen. It is S T E E L underscore Kitchen. And that's on Instagram. And that's on Instagram. Yes, sir. And if y'all want to personally talk to me, you can follow me on Instagram as well. At Ohio, O-H-I-O underscore boy, B-O-I-I. Keep it real classy and ghetto. In fact, started with some food stamps and a drink. We out here. Dad, what's wrong?